Does your child tell lies? And you're wondering why my child is telling lies? What has happened to him? I never ask him to do this and you know, somehow he has gone into this habit. Let me tell you, there are three main reasons parents need to ponder into and understand it very deeply. The very first thing is about communication. How we communicate to our children whenever they do something wrong or any anything happens for example the child is going to play and he comes back wounded how do we react oh god where did you go didn't i tell you not to do this didn't i tell you you should not play there so this is something that we react right whereas once the child is asked about all these questions, the child feels intimidating or he feels that fear in his mind that, okay, if I tell now the truth, I may be in fear or I may be in trouble. My parents are going to punish me or I may, he, my parents are going to smack me also. So he has that fear in the mind. So in order to avoid that, he has to do something else. And for that reason, he finds nothing but only, only telling lies as a, Solution. Another example, if I would say, imagine there's a was or any any particular expensive um, you know showpiece that you have brought and then it's just broken. Okay. So what happens is, imagine we ask, what happened to the was? Or if the child is having a wound, oh my god, just having validating had emotions. Oh my god, it looks so painful. What happened to your leg? So when you ask that question, suddenly the child feels that the attention is to the wound and not himself, not his behavior. Now the child is trying to tell the fact, okay, this is something that has happened. And that naturally the child feels like, uh, you know, opening up all that what he wants to say. The second reason is how we react. Whenever the child, the same example if I have to tell you, whenever the child comes up with some kind of problems or he tells that, okay, I'm, I'm wounded or I fell. So how do we parents react? Again, if it is screaming and yelling and again blaming the child, the child will never come and tell the truth next time. He's going, he's going to tell us something different. He's going to weave something different and then tell us because he wants to escape from that particular trauma or that pain that the parents may be giving him for telling the truth. Another main reason is the reaction when we are actually frustrated. We feel when we are really angry, the way we react is totally different. So make it a point as parents, when we react, see to it that the situation is calm and you are also calm, the child is also calm so that the child becomes receptive. Even we become receptive at that particular point when we are calm. And when we are angry, what happens is we totally destroy everything. What I personally feel is it's better. We, we can't control our emotions, of course, but at least we can postpone it for some time. So when we are trying to correct the child, say he's telling that, okay, you should have done this. You should have gone there. I told you not to go, go here. So all these things, actually, you need to say that, but not at the point where that situation happens. So anything that you want to correct, See to it that you both are calm. The situation is calm and then you start having conversations. And if you're dealing with a teenager, especially I would recommend that instead of suggesting something, you ask suggestions from them. You ask questions so that the child is going to come up with something that they feel, okay, I might have done this and I should have done at least like this. Maybe this would have been, you know, I would have been saved if I had done this. So these kinds of remedies, learning from the mistakes, the child feels, okay, now I can think over this and next time I can avoid it. And again, the child is free to open up with the parent here. The third reason why our children tell lies is that we hardly give attention to the child when they really need that attention. Now you may be wondering, oh God, I give attention all the, all the time when my child is talking to me. 
Imagine just a scenario. I'm going to give you an example here. Imagine you are on an important phone call. Okay, very important phone call. Maybe a client of yours, or maybe some other person. You know, you have you have a very strong discussion going on, and the child is pulling your dupatta or your sari or maybe your shirt, and you know, calling you. And you may be stuck. Okay, what happened? You may be considering this to be very important thing, and then you just turn around, and the child simply smiles, goes off. Again, okay, okay, you will be pissed off. I I agree, but sometimes, okay, you may not say anything, you may not react to anything, you may continue with that conversation over the phone, and then again, the child comes by, and he's trying to pull you, pull your shirt or clothes or anything, and then again, you are disturbed. The child simply smiles and then goes off. You again get wild, although you may not react. But then the child again comes with some kind of creations that he has done on his own, some creative things, maybe a DIY or some small art, or he has painted something or anything. And he comes and shows you, Papa, Papa, look at this. You really get wild, and the way you react is so bad sometimes. The child will never come and show that particular thing again. Now the child feels okay. I should not show anything. I should not do anything. The attention is something that the child is was seeking, and we have not given that. Now imagine the child is coming up with a small drawing, and we are very busy doing our own work. And the child comes and shows. Okay, yes, good. So we say that and we leave. Now the child comes up with something, you know. He wants actually the uh, attention, and that's why what he does, he comes up with some kind of stories that he is weaving in, and then he gets into the father's room and or mother's room, and then he says, "You know what happened? This is something that happened in the classroom. This happened in my on my way to school. These things have happened." Now the parents are really worried, and they say, "Oh, really?" What happened? What happened to this child? And then what? How did you go there? How did you come up with all these things? Who told you? I okay. No, so these are some of the questions. Actually, though it is a negative response, child feels that okay, my my words are being recognized. I'm getting that significance. The child starts to understand that when I tell something very interesting. something out of the context when i tell something which is not naturally done something above uh, you know above that or something beyond that uh, natural things what are happening if i say that then my parents are going to look at me and talk to me that's how it happens even in the school when parents are when teachers are not giving that attention the child tells something some weaves he weaves some stories about his own house maybe my parents are having fights they quarrel all the time and all that stuff they start telling all that just imagine who is responsible for all this so i hope these points you will ponder into and think over it and understand where are we lacking behind also i would request you to subscribe to my ch- channel if you haven't yet subscribed so that you get some uh, ideas and some insights about these uh, day day to day activities that we as parents need to do and also share these videos with your loved ones whom you really care for so that we can bring some kind of changes in their lives and make it a source of happiness in their life as well